What's up, Lesbi fam? So it is Christmas, and before I go to bed, I wanted to share with you. Um, of course, we heard um, Dina, and um, it brought me back to when I found out. So um, I got tested roughly about when I was about five months, kind of early on, because I wasn't feeling well. Um, I was feeling a little off, and so my doctor said, you know what, let's test you. Um, and surely enough, it came back positive. Um, the process is you drink, it's um, this clear, or it could be different flavors, but the one I had was like a lemon. Uh, it tasted more like a really flat 7-Up. Um, um, that's been open for like two, three days, and it was super, super, super sweet, and it's disgusting. You take that at breakfast, or early, early on, on an empty stomach, um, and then you come back for your results. If they come back normal, then you um, don't have to come back for a second time, but if they are high, um, you come back and you do it all over again. So, of course, my numbers were positive. Um, uh, it's not positive. They were really high, um, so... What they had me do was meet up with a um, nutritionist. And the nutritionist tells you how to eat. They tell you how to portion your food, um, what to eat, what not to eat. You pretty much have to follow a diet. And for anybody and everybody who knows me, I hate diets because I love food. As you can tell, I'm not this extra voluptuous for nothing, okay? So, yeah. Food is like my poison um, I love all foods and so being pregnant and food those are two really bad combinations for me um, because I couldn't um, follow the diet um, I followed it as much as I could but I never kept on it the way I was supposed to um, you're supposed to, with di uh, diabetes, you're supposed to check your blood sugars every uh, four hour, I mean, excuse me, four times a day. So, I remember having to tell Vivi, and it was the scariest thing because she kept telling me, babe, please watch what you're eating. Um, you know, can you eat this instead of that? And I would like yell at her. I was like, I'm gonna eat what I want. Just let me eat. I'm pregnant. And I would get so angry at her. Um, and she'd be like, whoa, like, all right. She'd back off, right? Um, but I kind of wish she hadn't because um, I wouldn't have ended up with it. I feel like I would have had a better outcome um, so my nutritionist gave me, um, metformin and metformin was helping me control my sugars, um, what well, was supposed to be. Um, but of course me being the fatty that I am, um, it wasn't because again, I wasn't eating well. Um, you know, if my friends would be like, Hey, let's go have Chinese food. I go and scarf my throat. Um, whatever it was. I just was, wasn't eating um, the proper amounts. Had I measured my food, I think I would have been okay. Um, Vivi couldn't be as active because she was at work and most of my appointments were because I work at, you know, in a medical field. Um, I just go for a couple, you know, whatever amount of time to my class and, you know, do what I had to do um, and she'd be at work so I I knew what I had to do I just wasn't doing it um, why I, I I don't know um, a sense of hunger came over me and it was like the urge to eat I just wanted to eat and eat and eat and I couldn't control it I didn't know how to it was really hard. Um, and having to call in every, what, week and talking to a nurse and telling her what my numbers was 
and keeping track was the hardest thing because one, I'm not really organized. I'm not great with keeping a, a diary as, as they called it. Um, two, measuring my food. I'm not the greatest at that either because I just want to eat what I want to eat when I want to eat it. Um, and so early on, I gained a lot of weight. You're supposed to safely gain about 25 pounds within, you know, the, within the whole pregnancy. And I gained that pretty quickly. At three months, I was already showing. Um, and they told me that the risks of, you know, gestational diabetes is complications during label, during labor. Sorry, I'm tired. Um, them growing at a really rapid pace. Um, heart issues, de developmental issues as well. So there's many things that can harm a baby because of diabetes. So closer to the delivery date, um, the doctors were telling me that Liam was already really big. So he was always a month ahead. So if I was three months, he was really the size of four month old. Uh, or excuse me, four months. I was at the size of a four month, um, and so on. So by the time that I got to, you know, um, labor and delivery, um, the department, they told me that he was really, really big. So um, C-section was going to be the only way. Um, and I was scared. Um, And I was feeling nervous because what I wanted was a normal delivery. Call me crazy, but I wanted to feel what it was like to push my son, to give birth to him the way every woman, or excuse me, the way most women do. I wanted to feel that. I wanted to feel the contractions. I wanted to feel everything that comes with delivery. Um, and I couldn't. And that was my fault because I couldn't control my eating. So he got really big. Um, and with preeclampsia, when I got to the hospital, um, they told me, well, we're going to check you. We're going to go in. Um, and we're going to probably just observe you over, you know, a few hours. Um, while my blood pressure came back even higher. So a couple hours became, oh, we're going to keep you overnight. Um, and even with medication, they couldn't control it. My blood pressure kept rising. Um, to the point where they were like, you know what? We're going to emergency C-section. He's coming today. And we weren't even ready. We didn't have anything with us, really. So it was rough. Um, the roughest part was seeing, um, seeing Liam being taken to the NICU, um, because of me. His sugars weren't controlled um, because his body didn't know how to. Um, so the way it was explained to me was, think of it as a crack baby. Um, you're giving your baby all this sugar and it's just taking it and taking it and taking it over a period, you know, the night, almost 10 months that you're pregnant and all of a sudden they're born and they're supposed to just, you know, do it on their own. And he can't because my levels were always so high that he needed it. So he was taking it all and he couldn't process it enough. And so they had to basically give him insulin and taper him off you know, little by little. So they took him into the NICU. They, I didn't get him back till the next day where I could finally see my son. Um, and then, you know, his numbers were okay. And then all of a sudden they dropped. Um, 
And that was really hard because I did that to him. They had to prick him, you know, a couple times a day because of me, because I couldn't control what I was eating. I couldn't control myself. And I was just like, I'll just, you know, this is not going to hurt him. Oh, one more scoop of ice cream. He'll be fine. Oh, you know, one more cheeseburger. It's going to be okay. No, he wasn't okay. He wasn't okay. He was there for a few days and it was really rough to go into there, into the NICU and see him, um, you know, being poked. He's all, although he took it like a champ, he was, you know, he didn't cry and I guess he was used to it, but I put him through that. That was my fault. I did that to him and it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair for him to go through all of that because of me. Um, so some advice to you women out there who are pregnant or, you know, planning on becoming pregnant. Um, please take, please take care of yourself. One, two, if you end up with it, which is common in women and sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, but a lot of women do. Um, please try as much as you can to watch what you're eating to pay attention, to exercise, um, to listen to what the nurses are telling you because you don't want your baby in the NICU because of you. And it's the hardest thing to see. Um, and I still carry that with me. And I think that was part of my um, postpartum, which will be, you know, another part that was rough. But I know that definitely um, spiked uh, my anxiety, which I never had before. So, you know, Dina, best of luck to you, love. Um, if you need some help, I have all my notes on how to eat, so I hope you follow it because we don't want baby Santana in the NICU, and I want you to be healthy and have a wonderful delivery. Um, um, so please share with us, let us know, let me know how your experience was, um, how you did it, because who knows, you know, hopefully if we have another one, I might need your help and I might be able to take some of your tips um, so that I can have a better, you know, pregnancy and, and maybe not end up with diabetes or learn how to take care of myself better. So don't forget to comment, like, and share with everybody you guys um we love you thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon merry christmas to you all